Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be giving you a look at the barometer feature on the Garmin Instinct 2X Solar Watch and we're going to be comparing that to that of the Casio ProTrek PRG 330 watch. Now I'm not going to get into all of the different features you can do on the Garmin Instinct 2X. This is really more for the person out there that traditionally has used the Casio ProTrek. They're thinking about going to the Garmin Instinct and they want to see how the barometric pressure and barometer work. So uh, both of these watches have their positives and negatives over each other. They're kind of similar in their features. The Garmin Instinct, whether it's the 1, 2, or 2X, have the watch face that has this plot area that can be set up to where it shows your barometric pressure. The nice thing about the Garmin Instinct is you can actually adjust this plot area to show whatever duration you want, whether it's 48 hours, 24 hours, 6 hours, so on and so forth. Casio ProTrek does the same thing. You'll notice my barometric pressure plot area up here for the last 48 hours. The negative about the ProTrek is you can't adjust that plot area. It will always be in 48 hours, whereas on the Garmin you have the ability to adjust it. The nice thing about the Garmin Instinct is you can also display your barometric pressure on your main watch face. So at any point I can look and see what's my barometric pressure, what's the plot area, and what's my current time. Whereas on the Casio ProTrek, I've got my time and I've got my plot area, but if I want to see my barometric pressure, I have to go into the barometer. So again, the Instinct's going to have a lot more features. Where there's some positives on the ProTrek, though, is the battery is infinite on the ProTrek. Even though this is a solar watch, at some point you're going to have to pull out a cable and charge this watch, whereas you won't have to do that on the ProTrek. The other thing that's nice on the ProTrek is once we go into the barometer, it will stay in the barometer feature a lot longer than the Instinct. The Instinct will only leave you in there for 5 to 10 minutes and then it will kick you back out to your watch face, whereas the ProTrek will leave you in there a lot longer. I'll try and let you see that here. Both of them can be set up, well, both of them have independent buttons that can be set up. Casio ProTrek, if I press the middle button on the right hand side, it takes me into my barometer. On my Garmin Instinct, I could set up any of the buttons to take me into the barometer. If I press and hold the bottom left, I have it set up for my barometer. So this is a side-by-side -side comparison of looking at the actual barometer on the watches. Again, on the Instinct, I've got my plot area the last 48 hours. It's kind of nice. It shows you your low and high values over the last 48 hours as well as your current value. Whereas on the Casio ProTrek, it's just showing me my current reading. There's no high or low values. The other thing is on the Instinct, you don't have a decimal point, which you have on the Garmin uh, I'm sorry, on the Garmin Instinct, you have a decimal point, which you don't get on your Casio ProTrek. Nice thing about the ProTrek, though, is they give you your temperature value from your temperature sensor. The Garmin Instinct has a temperature sensor as well, but it doesn't display in your barometer feature. You would have to go to the temperature widget uh, or glance to look at the temperature value. I kind of like that the ProTrek shows you both of them. I'm going to wait here for a second, just let you look at it. You're going to see the big negative of the Instinct is after a few minutes, it's going to kick us out of our barometer. The ProTrek will keep us in the barometer. It's not really that big of a deal, again, because the same values that we're seeing for the most part, as well as the values we're seeing in our ProTrek, can be displayed on the watch face on the Garmin Instinct. So I guess you really don't have a need to stay in the barometer for that long. I'm going to let it sit here. I'm going to let it time out. It'll take us back to our main watch face on the Instinct. ProTrek will be just like this, but I hope it gives you an idea of just side by side what the barometer feature looks like on the Garmin Instinct 2X Solar versus the Casio ProTrek PRG330 watch. Thanks for watching.